The difference between the Perfect Connection golf swing and traditional golf swing is basically how it was founded. The Perfect Connection golf swing was was founded from the body first. It wasn't basically, you know, founded from how the golf ball flew or whatever. It basically took solid fundamentals of biomechanics, uh, doctor's help with me, uh, and helping me finding, finding out what was the best way to swing a club that would first prevent injury and two is very effective and could actually allow you to hit the ball farther and more consistent. So the Perfect Connection golf swing, like I said, it, it, we basically took the study of the body, the biomechanics of it, created a swing that would reduce injury and allow you still to hit it better. And that's what's so great about it. And one of the, my main principles of trying to figure out why the handicaps have not dropped over the past 25, 30 years, why they've remained constant, even though we've had all these technology increases, it's really because the human body has not been addressed. You know, you're gonna find trainers, you're gonna find guys on tour saying, yeah, we need to, you know, improve your body. We need to get you more flexible. We need to have you have the physique of Tiger Woods. Well, that's not really realistic, okay, for the average golfer. So what I've done is basically figure out where you're gonna hurt yourself and all these other principles. What are they trying to do with the mainstream PGA Tour players, which that's great for them, okay? They're top athletes, but for the average human being that has a job and can't practice and can't work out for three, four hours a day, you know, we needed to develop a swing, like I said, that was body friendly and allowed you to basically go take your game the way it is, take your body the way it is, and not injure yourself. So what we did with the, the Perfect Connection Swing is we looked first at the joints. We tried to get your joints matched up and stacked upon each other. One of the main areas also for injury in golf is the low back. Most golfers hurt their low back or they're gonna hurt their left arm, but in the regards to the low back, what we did is we took the spine and put it in a position and used the spine the way it was meant to, 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 to work. The lower spine, if you will, is, is there for stabilization, and the middle spine, the middle part, which is your thoracic spine, that's the, the area that was designed to turn. When people have injuries or when they have flexibility issues or other things, and they're trying to get this huge swing, this big full shoulder turn and what have you, they're actually gonna get that turn out of their lower back, which is where the injuries result from. So with the three quarter swing that I've developed with the perfect connection swing, it reduces the injury to the low back. So the spine is supported, the spine is designed to work the way it was originally meant to, and we're not putting all these forces onto the spine. It's interesting too, because when you look at the golf swing, you're literally putting about eight times your body weight of sheer force on your spine in the traditional golf swing. So if you imagine a runner, when he's running every time and you know his feet are hitting that the concrete, that's only about four times of sheer force onto your spine. The golf swing's putting eight times that. So when you're trying to do the normal traditional golf swing with a big shoulder turn, you know, trying to get the club back, you know, more from underneath, like a lot of golf instructors teach, uh, you're just basically going to kill your spine. So it's just completely absurd to try to get normal people to swing that way. I took these principles, again, like I said, from the from the body first, applied it to the golf swing, studied some long drive hitters and found out what they did, and then applied these principles and came up with the perfect connection swing that puts the club on the correct plane to hit the ball far and to hit the ball consistent and more, more powerful. Um, from there, we basically uh, developed the other foundations that relieved stress on your joints and basically gave you an athletic setup that was very simple to do, very simple to re recreate, and created this swing and put it then under, under a 3D microscope and studied how the shear forces, how your muscles fired, what happened. I had some trainers also look at this and then I took it to the golf course and tested it and it worked. And I've been doing this for two years and it's been great. I used these same principles with a PGA Tour player, my Nathan Green, that ended up winning the Canadian Open in 2009. And it was the same principles that the Perfect Connection golf swing, we just applied it to him and took his swing. Didn't take much changing on his part, but got his joints aligned, got his spine uh, working the proper way, and it allowed him to hit the ball better, drive the ball a lot, lot more consistent, and lo and behold, he won his first PGA Tour event. So 
again, the Perfect Connection golf swing, although it was first designed with the body in mind, it's, it's based upon solid biomechanics. And with that, you can use it from an amateur all the way up to a PGA Tour player, and you can really improve your game in a short amount of time.